Let's start with our feet hip width apart. All right, behind our chair, we've got our hands on our chair, our knees are slightly bent, shoulders back. All right, eyes closed. Good. If you feel comfortable and you'd like more of a challenge, once you get your bearings, you can raise those hands off that chair. That's it. Good. And three, two, one, and time. Good. Now, uh, I, in a rush this morning, lots going on today, I left my watch. And that's like leaving your phone, for those of you that have ever left your watch. I am going crazy right now. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my phone. So all my timing I'm doing on my phone. So if you see me going to my phone, it's my stopwatch, okay? So let's go. Feet close together. Feet really close together. All right, knees slightly bent, core tight, shoulders back, hands on our chair. Close your eyes. Get your bearings. Once you do, if you'd like more of a challenge, you can raise those hands off that chair. Just lift them up. Good. Three, two, one, and time. That's it. Now let's turn and we're going to face this direction. We're going to put the chair on the right side. Good, good. For those of you watching on YouTube, watching the videos, we're in a live class. So you may see some crosstalk or some communication with class. I think it's important that you guys, you know, see behind the curtains. That's interesting sometimes, right? So find your fo uh, focal point. I want you to fo focus on a point. You're going to shift your weight to your right foot, bend that knee. Let's take that left foot. We're going to bring it up in the air. Go ahead and hold on to that chair if you need to. That's it. Good, core tight, eyes open, focused on that focal point. Good, three, two, one, and time. Now here's the hard part, we're gonna close our eyes. Go ahead and shift your weight to your right foot, bring your left heel into the, the air, left heel only, close your eyes. Hand on the chair, get your bearings, if you would like more of a challenge, you can bring that left foot up. You don't have to. All right, there you go. Keep those shoulders back. Three, two, one, and time. Very good. Let's turn. We're going to face the opposite direction, so we're going to put that chair on the left side. <clears throat> okay. Eyes are open. Nice and relaxing. Find your focal point. We're going to shift our weight to our left foot. Remember, eyes are open this round. Bring that right foot into the air. Good. Hold in that position. Very good. Very good. I can tell already we have a class of all-stars. Three, two, one, and time. Now we're going to close our eyes, all right? The hard part. So we're going to shift our weight to our left foot. We're going to bring that right heel into the air, just the right heel. Close your eyes. Get your bearings. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can raise that right foot up in the air to make it a little harder. You don't have to. If you're really having to work hard with your toes on the ground, then, then stay there. Good. Three two, one, and time. Good, good, good. All right, let's have a seat. Grab a shot of water if you have it. <clears throat> All right, big plans this weekend? Football. Football. I'll be driving the majority of the weekend. Working. Working. Mm. I know that feeling. Yeah. Okie doke. Balance University, guys, we're based on the four pillars, strength, posture, flexibility, and balance. We're going to do our exercises, all right? We'll start in our strength pillar. We're going to do two exercises per pillar. First thing I want to do is just warm the body up, right? Just get us going. We've gotten through our assessments. We'll have a seat in our chair. I want to sit up nice and tall. Keep my back away from the chair, both feet at the same time. We're going to bring them up and down together, all right? Just a warm-up exercise here. It's okay to hold on. If you'd like to hold on to your chair, that's fine, good. And three, that's it. Pull those toes back to you, four. And five, good. And six. 
and seven, eight, nine, that's it. Let's see if we can get to 15. There's 10, 11, good. Can you take your hands over your head, touch your thumbs together, that's it. What this does is this activates the core, good. There's 13, 14, and 15, that's it, and rest, good. All right, let's stand. All right, squats is one of the best exercises you can do. We've done many different versions of squat. We're gonna do that today. We're gonna keep it simple though. We're just gonna sit slow, all right? Nothing fancy beyond that. We're just gonna take four seconds to go down. I want your bottom to lightly touch the chair and then stand right back up. Here's the thing, if you're going down and you notice you have some pain in your knee, then, then stop right there, okay? I don't want you in pain. And then as we descend, touch our bottom and come up, you join us as we come up together, okay? You can do that as you fatigue too. As you get tired, skip a rep, don't go as deep. All right, ready? Bottom out, that shifts our weight to our heels. We're going down, four, three, two, and one. Lightly touch and pop right back up. And we're down, good, four, three, two, one. Lightly touch, and four, three, two, one. Good, and you're up. Boy, of all the advantages of being tall, this is not an advantage here. Four, three, two, one. It's like playing football when we would max out lifting weights. All the the shorter guys, man, they only had to do this. So they were all a lot stronger than the rest of us. You know, they had to go a long way. They had the long arms. And we're down, four, three, two, and one. Good, good, good. Let's continue. Four, three, two, and one. Good, good. Make sure your chest and your chin are facing forward. Get those eyes facing forward. Four, three, two, and one, good. Two more. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Last time. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Come up, move those legs a little bit, walk around, shake them out. Yep, there you go. Get that blood circulating. Dead gum it. Three times I've already gone to my wrist to hit my stopwatch. All right, catch your breath. We're gonna be right back in our chairs, okay? All right, this round we're gonna spice it up a little bit. I know you're thinking to yourself, lucky me. All right, nice and tall, core tight. We're gonna bring our legs out and in. We're gonna keep it simple to start. Just like before, pulling those toes back to you, squeezing those thighs, that's it. Four, good, five, feet, have them go together, six, it's okay to hold on, seven, and eight, we're gonna do two more and then we're gonna get fancy, nine, last one, hold it up tie, hold, now we're just gonna go out and in, abduct and adduct, that's it, staying tall, don't let that back touch the back of that chair, use those core muscles, Good, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and down. We're not done, all right, let's take those legs. We're gonna come up, hold, and down. And two, <laughs> and down, three, good. And four, are those grimaces or smiles? <laughs> five, <laughs> hang in there, six, just getting those feet off the floor. Seven, good job, good job. Last one, eight, hold it, hold it, hold it, and rest. Good, we're gonna stand, catch your breath. Give, I'm gonna give you a second here, give you a second. Good, good. Isn't it ironic that to be healthy, you've gotta go through so much pain? Yes. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> I, I, over the years, I have seen people um, reading on the treadmill or the elliptical. I, I have never been able to do that. Mm -mm. 
No, I, that's hard for me. I do enjoy reading, but you know, the best thing that ever happened was audiobook to me because I ride around all day and there's only so much sports talk radio you can, I can listen to. So true, true story. One of the ways I stay brushed up on my Spanish because we play soccer, it, it's coming from Texas, working construction, you know, it, it becomes a useful tool. And then in soccer too, you know, there's been times where I've had to tell Caleb, okay, the coach is going to call you Caleb. All right. He's like, oh, coach. He's dad. He's been hollering at me the whole half. I said, I know. It's okay. <laughs> but uh, what we want to do here is when we work out at home, when you guys are doing your homework, right? If you get tired of TV, audio book it, man. If you can't read, if you're like me and have trouble reading, audio book it. All right. Ready? We're going to be in front of our chairs. Good wide base. Let's go chair leg width apart. Let's get some good thoughts in our heads. Think about all that leg strength we're gaining right here. Bottom goes out. We're going to go down as far as we can. Three, two, one. Lightly touch, and we're coming right back up. Good. And four, three, two, one. And we're up. You guys are doing a great job not letting your knees cave in, all right? Not letting your knees cave in, keeping them right over your toes. That's it. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bottom out, weight on my heels, four, three, nice and slow, two, one, good. And four, three, two, and one. We're going to do three more, so if you get tired and need to take a break, go ahead. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. And four, three, two, one. Good. One more time for good luck. Go buy that $1.2 billion lotto ticket. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Move about a little bit. Get that blood circulating. And then we're going to be right back in our chairs, guys. Great job. $1.2 billion. Well, what did, okay, so you walk away with 480, 480 million. Um, I, I'm working with a lady right now. I've been working with her for about five years now, actually. She has won the lotto three times, three times. I'm not even kidding. One day I walked in her home. And she's sitting in her chair and she looks at me. This is an unusual position. And she says, Chris, we're not doing anything. I need your help. Um, she can't drive long distances. Uh, obviously, it's one of the reasons why I'm there uh, to keep her mobile. She lives alone. Uh, she's very capable of doing that, very functional. But there's certain things she struggles with and I, I help her with and others from time to time. She says, Chris, I need your help. I won the lotto. And I'm thinking, oh, no, you didn't. You've already won it twice. There's no way. And she, she showed me the scratch-off ticket. She won a million dollars. And I'm holding this ticket in my hand. I'm thinking, you've got to be kidding me. And uh, she goes, yeah, we're not working out today because I won a million dollars. Don't worry. I'll give you a little tip. <laughs> so anyways, we, we had to help her on the computer, a couple of things, got her lined up. And so anyways, and I did. I did get a little tip. So it was nice. Got a nice dinner out of it. So any questions, guys? How are those legs feeling? Yeah. <laughs> Funny story. She doesn't even tell her kids. She's very secretive about it. She, her kids, from what she's told me, do not know she's won. So because of all the attention that comes with it, you know, and they tell you at the office. She was telling me the story. They, she went into the office in Tallahassee, and they were telling her – what to do and what not to do and, and some of the things that have happened to past winners that worked and didn't work. One of those pieces of advice are don't tell anyone. Well, she took that to heart and she did not tell anyone. <laughs> so guys in our chair, we're going to kind of backtrack a little bit. Um, we've had some really tough classes the last several weeks. And so what I want to do here is kind of backtrack, get back to basics. We're going to substitute I wouldn't say easy, 
but a foundational exercise, right? They always tell you get good at the, at the fundamentals. So this is a fundamental exercise. And then we're gonna go into the founders, okay? So this is for our posture. I want you to take yourself and move yourself out to the middle or the end of your chair. I want you to pretend you're holding a ball. We're gonna go down to the floor, all right? And then we're gonna come up, bringing that ball up over our head. I want you to reach and push, good. And then we're gonna go right back down to the ground. That's it, good. Now, if you can reach under you, once you get down there, I want you to start reaching underneath, and we're gonna come up. Up, up, up. Now, reach for the sky and push back. Great. Good, and we're down. Really stretch that chest, open that core, that abdomen. Here, you're stretching your hamstrings, your legs, and we're up. Arms going up, arch that back. Really push back. Good. And we're down. And we're up. Reach and push back. Good. We're going to do a couple more. Down. <laughs> and up. Reach and push back. Good. Last time, we're down. And we're up. Reach and push back, good. Now, how many of you can stand without using your hands, right? Yeah, it's really hard, right? The older we get, the harder it gets. Let me challenge you here, if you can stand without using your hands, right? And a lot of times, in, in a lot of cases, it's just about leverage, right? It's just about getting your nose over your toes, even when you sit down. Nose over toes. If you can stand without using your hands, let's do an experiment. Can you stand with your hands above your head, touch your thumbs, all right? Ready, now you're gonna lean forward, get those nose over your toes and push. Good, and then you're gonna come down nice and slow. Push those arms back. Good. Now, as we came down, if you can, everyone up. Now, as we began to descend, did that movement feel familiar, right? Our hands are in the air and we're pushing back. We got our nose over our toes. This is like our founder's exercise, right? So in a lot of ways, go ahead and relax, guys, hands down. In a lot of ways, those founders have real life application whenever we're sitting and standing, okay? So let's do that now. We're gonna stand with our feet, chair leg width apart, okay? Our hands are gonna be up above us in the air, palms facing each other, all right? Bottom out, we're gonna squat down like we're sitting, but you're not gonna go all the way down. Just go as far as you can comfortably and hold. Three, two, one. Beautiful, and we're up. And again, we're down. Push those arms back. Three, two, one. Beautiful, we're gonna do three more, so if you get tired and need to take a break, that's okay, we're down. If your arms get tired, just bring your arms down. Three, two, one. Two more, we're down. Push back, three, two, one. Great job, last time. Make sure you keep that chest and those eyes forward if you can. And we're down, if you can't, try to do a 45 degree angle. Three, two, one, and up. Rest, well done. Breathe, catch your breath. All right, we're gonna go back to our chair. So you guys, if you'd like, go ahead and have a seat now. <clears throat> well, you know those little, little things that remind you you're getting older or you're getting old? Well, I have, I have kids that are, you know, early 20s, and I have a teenager. So there's lots of things around me where I've realized I turned into that get-off-my-lawn guy, and I try really hard not to be that guy. And then, and then last night, I'm sitting there watching a scary movie with my wife, watching Halloween, right? It's Halloween time. And I'm just scrolling through the latest news. 
And then all of a sudden across my timeline comes, do you remember the classic cartoons? You remember the old cartoons on Saturday morning? I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. What do you mean classic? What do you mean old? And I started looking at this video they were playing. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that cartoon. And then it hit me. I'm a classic, right? I'm not old. I'm a classic. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The costumes now versus then. All right. In our chairs, guys. Ready? We've got our imaginary ball. We're out to the edge or the middle of our chair. We're going to go down. All right. We're going to work those hands back under our chair. Feel that stretch as we come up. Up, 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 bringing those hands up over our head. You're going to reach and push back. Try to get your biceps even with your ears, okay? Don't jut your head forward. Keep that head back. And we're down. Good. Good job, Michelle. Down, down. Work those hands under. And we're up. Nice and slow. Reach. Good, good. And push back. Great. And we're down. Good. And up. Well, we got a good game on this weekend. I think the Cowboys are playing the 49ers. Ooh. Find out. <laughs> and down. Who the Dolphins playing? I can't remember, but it's on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Hmm. Jaguars. Jaguars. Oh, we should win that one easy. And up. I don't know. Trevor Lawrence looked good last week. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, you should. Dolphins should win, I would think. Good. Two more guys were down. That's it. Really? Oh, oh my. Wow. And up. Hey, we've got playoff baseball going on, too, now. Don't forget those guys. Push back. And down, last one. Here we go. Really reach under. Feel that stretch, guys. Stretch those legs, back of your legs, those hamstrings. Good. And we're up. Reach and push back. Good. And rest. Awesome. So how many of you did your homework? Good. Good, good. You would be surprised. A lot of classes that I go to, a lot of lectures, uh, we're in a situation where I can give homework and then I'll be able to follow up. Uh, we're in the middle. Usually when I do lectures at Florida Blue, Blue Cross Blue Shield, it's a three-part series. So I'll give everyone homework and then I'll follow up on the next class. And, you know, we'll do it on every Wednesday for three weeks in a row. And you'll, you'll be surprised how many people, it's not that they're, they, they didn't want to do it. They forget. They forget, you know. And so it's almost like we need an emergency broadcast system, right? So I can send out an exercise alert to all my Balance University people. <laughs> all right, let's have you stand. Back to our, I bet you all would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> and I want the alert the same as, as what the emergency broadcast alert is too, you know, the, the alert that makes you come out of your skin because it scares you so bad. <sighs> all right. Feet a little wider than chair, lit, chair leg width, okay? We're going to take our hands. We're going to go up over our head. All right, bottom out. We're squatting down. Push those arms back. Don't let your chest face the ground. And we're up. Drive through your heels. That's it. And down. Push back, push back. Three, two, one. Good. Three more. And we're down. Push back. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Two more. We're down. That's it. Good, Brendan. Three, good. Two, one. Two more, and we're down. That's it. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Last time. And down. Three, two, one. One, and you're up. Good. Have a shot of water and, and then take a break. Well done. Good. How are we feeling? How are those legs feeling? Good. Good, good. Good, good. 
Good. Good, good. I've got to sit in a car for the next eight to nine hours starting at noon. I know. But. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the good news is, is my, my son is 16, you know, and he's the reason why we're driving and he can drive. Once I get him to a place, like on 75, we get past Tampa and all that stuff, I can turn him loose. But, you know, it's, <laughs> I'm not good with other people driving on trips because I'll try to take a break. You guys know what I'm talking about. And, and I'll, I'll go to close my eyes and I'll think, ah, oh, I can't do it. You know, I need to watch the road. So it's trust, I guess. <laughs> All right, any questions? Okay, back in our chairs. We've worked on our leg strength. We've worked on our posture. You know, of course, with the founder's exercise, such a great movement because it, it addresses our strength, it addresses our posture as well, all right? So let's take our left leg out in front of us. So we're gonna need to be to the edge of our chair there, or to the middle. Left leg, we're gonna take both hands. We're gonna slide that down that left leg. You're gonna hold that. Again, this is another exercise, another stretch you can do when you're watching TV. Watching football, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, and we're coming up. We're going to do that again, all right? I want you to try to reach a little further this time, okay? Ready? And reach. A little farther, I should say. Good. Three, two, one, and we're up. Good. Now we'll take that right leg. We're going to take that right leg out in front of us. All right. Have both hands, and we're going to reach. That's it. <clears throat> Good. Three. Two, one, and we're up, good. A few seconds here, ready, and we're down again, reaching. That's it, good. Continue to breathe, just the normal, normal breath. Three, two, one, and we're up, good going to go ahead come back in our chair guys I want to take my hands I'm going to reach to the floor or I'm going to go forward reach into the floor and I'm going to work my hands back under my chair good I'm going to come up take my palms to the sky reach and push back very similar to what we did earlier with the ball all right and we're down Good. Now, if you can get your hands to the ground or once you get down, I want you to start working your hands back underneath you, back under the chair. And we're up. Palms to the sky. And down. And we're up. Reach and push back. That's it. One more time. And down. And we're up. Reach for the sky and push back. Try not to let that head jut forward. Good and rest. Beautiful. All right. Now let's stretch our neck, right? That's going to help uh, improve our range of motion there, increase our mobility and our ability to identify obstacles that may be in our way or as we're driving, help us avoid uh, other vehicles or pedestrians, whatever jumps out in front of you. All right. I saw something this weekend lady hit a pedestrian and she says, you know, on the cops 
video camera on his, on his vest. I don't know. He just jumped on my car. <laughs> I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> just jumped on my car. Well, you were on the sidewalk, ma'am. <laughs> All right, guys, let's take that left hand. We're going to hold under that chair, okay? Right hand is going to go across our stomach or in our lap. I like it across my stomach. Now, we're going to lean and look to the right, okay? That left arm is going to act as an anchor. Lean and look. <clears throat> You'll look up and down. Find where you feel that stretch the most and just hold steady. Three, two, one, and relax. Very good. Now let's go the other direction. So we'll take that right hand. All right, got that right hand holding. Left hand is going across our stomach or in our lap, and we're going to lean and look to the left. <clears throat> we'll look up and down. That's it. Hold steady. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, good. And catch your breath, guys. It's going to take about 30 seconds here. Um, get some water if you need it. And then we're going to stand. We're going to go behind our chair. We're going to get into our balance pillar here. Yeah, water. So, uh, quick question about water. Uh, some comments here, guys. Hydration is key. As we age, we tend to lose, well, we don't tend to, we do. We lose our ability to hold water, right? So, by the time we're 80 years old, our water retention ability is, is decreased by about 20%, right? And that's quite a bit from the ages of 30 to 80, that water retention going down. Um, in the field, from what I've seen, I've come across people that you know, as they age, they don't like to drink water, right? Um, sometimes it's medication like diuretics, um, Lasix. And, and what that does, if you're on any type of water peel, not only is that pulling water out of your system, but in a lot of cases, it's pulling an electrolyte known as potassium out of the body. Now, potassium also is important in muscle contraction. So it's very common for people on water peels, um, you know, Sometimes they don't want to drink water because they don't want to have to get up several times at night, uh, but they'll cramp. And that cramping is due to that loss of potassium because potassium is an electrolyte and electrolytes control the, the uh, balance of water coming in and out of the cells of the body. Um, water is important, guys, because our bodies are 80% water, right? And the brain works on electrical signals, right? It, it is a series of networks of axons and dendrites and all that good stuff, but it based on electrical signals, same as our heart, right? So the more water we have in the body, the better we are, the more apt we are to be efficient in delivering those signals. How do you tell if you're dehydrated? Well, for a lot of us, you take your epidermis if you can pinch the skin. It's not the best test, but it is a test. You can pinch the skin, if the skin doesn't bounce right back, if it stays elevated or in that little position there, I don't know if you guys can see that, show you for camera. If I pinch my skin, you see how it bounces back like that? It means I'm pretty hydrated, right? See that there, how it bounces back? Now, if it were to stay there, that's a sign of dehydration. You have to also take in consideration too, moisturization, right? Because lotion helps volumize the epidermis scales, uh, cells, all right? So, um, Biggest thing I've seen with dehydration symptoms, guys, lightheadedness, nausea, headaches. Um, it, it definitely increases your risk for falls because you get a brain fogginess people have uh, complained of. And sometimes folks just forget to drink water. You know, uh, here's what you can do. Now, we've talked about this, uh, I guess, a few weeks, well, a few months ago. There's a lecture on the YouTube channel that talks specifically about water where they have the statistics laid out for you. You can also go to the sources and references page and print that out where I've, I've 
went ahead and divvy through all the information and giving you the pertinent stats. But let me give you this, right? You're looking at bottles of water that are, this is eight ounces, okay? Now, if you're an athlete, you want to try to drink about 100 ounces of water a day. We're not athletes, right? If we can drink about 30 ounces to 50 ounces of water a day, all right, we're going to be in good shape. So that comes out to be five bottles, four bottles here, right? Eight times eight is 32. <laughs> that ain't common core, baby. That's good math. <laughs> eight times four. Eight times four. Eight times four. Yeah, 32. Eight times eight is 64. <laughs> Still got it. Is smoke coming out my ears yet? <laughs> so the, what, what you want to do is try to set yourself goals, right? One of the reasons why I tell you guys to bring water and drink water is because this is an area where we can get a lot of that intake in, right? And especially in the morning, I can get your mindset on it. So now for the rest of the day, hopefully that, that seed of drinking water has been planted, all right? Biggest things to look out for, though, headaches, lightheadedness, nausea. Um, uh, it can also lead to the brain fogginess, but that also is going to lead to an increased risk of falls. 30 to 50 ounces of water. You should be good unless you're taking some medications that are pulling that water out of you, all right? It might require a little more. If you have any more questions, let me know, guys. And again, check out the YouTube channel. It's under Emeritus Health. Uh, we talked extensively about that hydration there and uh, in much more depth than what I'm doing here. So, all right, ready? Did that, did that help you? Yes, oh, okay, good, good, good question. Great topic. Going to the bathroom all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's like planning. Yeah, you got to plan it. Yeah, I've dealt with people who didn't want to drink water in the afternoons because they didn't want to get up at night over and over again, well, you know. Right. Right. That's smart. You're planning it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're behind our chairs, guys. We're going to work in our balance pillar. That's one of the things I've learned as I've gotten older. Uh, making it through the night gets harder and harder, mm -hmm. you know. And so it turns into a race between me and my wife. <laughs> About 4.30, 4, 4.30 every morning. <laughs> Okay, let's start with a winner. Find your focal point, all right, chair on the right side. We're gonna shift our weight to our right foot, bend that knee, we're just gonna bring that left leg out to the side, and then right back to start position. Nice and slow, under control. Make sure your shoulders are back. Your core is tight. If you can, I want you to try to keep that left foot in the air. Can you keep that left foot in the air? That's it. That's six and seven, eight, good, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good, let's turn. We'll face the opposite direction. Gonna put the chair on the left side there. Okay, shift your weight to your left foot. Let's bring that right foot in the air. Find your focal point, ready, and let's begin. One, and two, gonna go slow. Three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good. You should start to feel that lower leg that you're standing on burning a little bit. If you don't, you may be holding on to your chair a little too much. There's a fine line, so that's just kind of a, a marker for you to figure out if you're putting enough um, or you have enough proprioception in your routine there, in your exercise, okay? Now, let's turn, face the opposite direction. All right. We're going to bring our left leg into the air here, and you're going to pause right there, okay? You're going to hold it there. We've done this several times, guys. Shoulders back. From this position, we're going to extend our leg out in front of us, pull your toes back, and then bring that leg back in. Don't bring it down, just bring it in. And two, that's it. And three, 
Good. Four. Ah, good. Give me that little pause. Five. When we extended that pause. Good. Six. That's it. Seven. Last one. And eight. Well done. And let's turn. Good, good. Chair on the left side. We're going to shift our weight to our left foot, bringing that right leg up in the air this time. Ready? We're going to extend it out, pull those toes back, and then back to start position. And two. Good. Three. That's it. And four. Count one, two, and you're in. Five, one, two. Try not to lean back. Six, one, two. Seven, one, two. Good. And eight. One and two. Rest. Beautiful. Slow turn back to the right. Putting the chair on the right side. <clears throat> All right. Little bit of a challenge right here, guys. On one foot, on my right foot, I'm going to rise up on my toes. I'm going to hold one, two, and then I'm going to bring myself back down to the ground, okay? If it's really hard, then I want you to put your toes of your left foot on the ground. And then what you can do is shift maybe 20% or 30% or whatever you need of your body weight to that left foot so that you can be efficient in getting yourself up on that right foot up on your toes, okay? So I do want the majority of your weight on your right foot. If you can do 100%, leaving your left foot in the air, great. If you need it for help, that's okay too, all right? Ready? Shoulders back, looking straight ahead. We're coming up. Get up on those toes. Hold one, two, and you're down. And two. One, two, and down. Good. Three. Up, 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 and down. Four. And down, beautiful. Five. And down, good. And six. That's it, down. Seven. And down, gonna go to 10. Eight, hold it. And down. Nine. That's it, last one. And 10, up, up, up. And down, and rest, wonderful. Let's turn. Now our left foot, okay? Nice and tall, core tight. Find your focal point. Let's shift your weight to your left foot. Ready? And we're up. One, two, and down. And two, up. One, two, good, and down. Three, one, two, four, one, two, five, one, and two, good. And six, one, two, seven, one, two, eight, one, two, good, nine, one, two, last time, and ten, one, and two. Well done. Last thing you're going to do today, look at those smiles. <laughs> Can't wait to go home. <laughs> Last thing, stand on one foot 60 seconds, all right? Let's hop to it. Deep breath. <sighs> Chair on the right side. Find your focal point. Okay, find your focal point. Let's shift our weight to that right foot. Bend that right knee, core tight, shoulders back, ready. Left foot in the air, time begins now. Standing on our right foot only for 60 seconds. Good. Got that left foot in the air. <clears throat> Balancing on that right foot. Twenty seconds. Thirty. Forty, fifty, 
50. Hang in there. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. Let's turn. Good, all right. Deep breath. Core tight, shoulders back. We're gonna shift our weight to that left foot. Let's bring your right foot up into the air. Time begins now. Keep that knee slightly bent, guys. That left knee, bend it just a touch. Good. Good. Thirty seconds have passed. Forty. Here we go, ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job. Well done. You certainly have put yourselves in a position to prevent falls at a, at a higher percentage today being here. Homework. Homework, let's do this, guys. In our chairs, sitting nice and tall. You're going to take your legs out in front of you. Let's work on abduction and adduction. Let's see if we can do that 10 to 15 times. If you can do it a couple of times in the morning, a couple of times in the afternoon, that's great. The more you put into it, the more you get out of it. If you can do it 10 times, that's even better. All right? So you're just up, out, and in. Don't worry about bringing it down and up. Just out and in. All right? Second thing I want you to do for your balance, all right? Let's work on trace D. All right? Imagine you're standing on the beach in the sand. You're going to take your toes and you're going to trace the letter D. All right? It may be backwards but you'll trace the letter D, okay? Can you see that? You're gonna start in the back, go forward and around. Make sure you're holding on to something. You wanna do that eight to 12 times on each foot. Try to do that a couple of times a day, all right? A couple of times in the morning, a couple of times in the afternoon, each time eight to 12. So you'll do two sets, eight to 12 on both feet, okay? Any questions? Have a great day. Remember your homework. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, Meredith Health. Make somebody smile. Adios. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Good job, Bob Michelle. Good job, Brendan. Good work. Good work. Oh, yeah, thank you. I know. <laughs>